what's the most common issue you see with people taking like performance enhancing drugs whether that be steroids serums whatever it is what's the most common issue you, you probably have to put a parameter on that because the okay let's say you had a hundred newbies you know, people new to taking performance enhancing drugs and there was kind of a thing you saw all of them trending towards that was definitely a mistake that was something you were across like across the board the answer there yeah. would be in, in that context it would be testosterone people equate testosterone as somehow the the most fundamental the most safe and effective steroid and it's simply not okay and is it that like they just dose testosterone too high or they stay on testosterone for too long or uh, they just really imbibe it with your know, abilities and 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 context that it, it that it does that it lacks it's just they just really have a um you know delusional perspective of what the compound is and what it can offer them um and they equally have a delusional perspective of why synthetic anabolic steroids actually even if fucking exist they exist because they're either safer or more effective or in many cases both so if they could just get over that little tiny intellectual speed bump the entire landscape would be fucking different but people have this kind of goofy i hear it i hear it regularly like well you know i'm just taking what my body already makes and just bumping it up a little bit like that's a retarded argument that would mean that like just dosing insulin or adrenaline or fucking opioids is perfectly sensible because well your body already has it you're just dialing it up that's fucking stupid but but yet that's the that's the the little kernel of of intellectual bedrock which they predicate all of their fucking future health decisions on and my body already makes it so it must be fine what mm, yeah. the fuck? i mean seriously like if you if you stop and dwell on that it will it will literally just you will lose all faith in fucking the male version of humanity it's fucking awful Sorry, what were you, you going to say something? No, no, I was just, I was just going to say over here anyway, and I'm sure it's the same in the US, like the prevalence of, of PEDs among very amateur level, uh, not very experienced in training or not very competitive in the sport they're doing. The prevalence seems to be far higher than I've ever mm -hmm. seen it. Obviously, we're mm -hmm. we're young enough, but it, it's, it's definitely higher. When I started training when I was around 14, it would be like, a handful of Polish and Eastern European people you would see in the gym were running gear and then pretty much nobody else besides professional athletes. Whereas now it's like every teenager who's between the ages of 16 and 22 is on some sort of compound. Mostly SARMs. Mostly SARMs. Yeah. Have you seen that in your kind of experience? Are, are those people knocking around your circles? Well, not my circles. I mean, they certainly exist. Let's keep in mind, I have no circle. I, I really want to be clear on that. Like, I, 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 you know, I have literally, I have three friends and two of them I'm a little iffy on. So, <laughs> no, I, I have no circle. Um, you know, in a, in a day, I talk, you know, I talk casually to my wife, my dog, and my three ferrets. And that's it. Like, no one else really gets any of my time. So, I have no circles. But to be fair, what you're describing is very, very common. Um, yeah, the, there's a um, almost a you know, steroids have become essentially the equi the equivalent of Under Armour. You know, you buy it when you buy a gym membership. You just that's just yeah. apparently now part of the package. Um, you know, just like you know every you know nitwit soccer mom you know getting the, uh, the 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 Han Solo you know vest and boot package for fall. It's just change of season. That's what you do. You just that's the you know, uh, the, 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 the costume you don for the, for the event. So yes, that's definitely happening. And by the way, if you didn't ask, but I'll throw it in. I blame CrossFit for that. I think that CrossFit is, was the vehicle for popularizing uh, steroids to especially women, but also just kind of that middle income suburbanite populist. Yeah. What, what would you see as the main risk factor for that group project? Is it that they don't get bloods done or what is it? Um, again, I'm super cynical. I wish most of them would die. So I really don't put any thought into it. I, I really sincerely don't. Um, I, I think they're really a scourge to humanity and they're just, they're just taking up fresh water and oxygen that the rest of us could put to better use. So I don't give a fuck. If you were to take that same, so you mentioned the male population, if you were to see like a hundred beginner female is there different things i surely i would imagine female athletes aren't overdoing the testosterone in general would, would you see different problems 
Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the genders definitely have, you know, very different, wildly differing risks, you know, and also wildly different you know, behaviors within the use case. Um, you know, the female demographic tend to wildly overuse orals and, and, and dosing at large, but there seems to be a, a you know, a, a kind of a trend within the two genders for sure. You know, males tend to overdo the egregious, you know, dietable anadrol testosterone, and then women just tend to focus on the, you know, kind of anavar winstrol and, you know, too, too much dosage, too much duration, um, you know, no real strategy to their use. Uh, really, the strategy is kind of more a, a, a reactive periodization to the intensity of training. Um, you know, the, the more do, more egregious the workouts, the more egregious the dosage rather than any kind of coherence 